Hi, everyone, and welcome to the Franchise Investment Show. I'm Raha Khan, Senior Digital Marketing Manager at Franchise Times Magazine, and I'm joined today by Mike Riley, the Senior Vice President of Franchise Development at ZBART. I'm the Senior Vice President in charge of Franchise Development in America, the United States. My key responsibilities are onboarding brand new franchisees. I've been with the company for over 40 years. I've worked from every position at the basic level of franchising to the top now. Um, our company's been around for 65 years. Uh, we've been an unbelievable, durable business model for 65 years through development. We were a single product uh, business model, and we are now multifaceted, and the brand fits into 37 countries. And the model is very adaptable to consumers and to the business owners. And in what ways would you say Zbar is working to build and maintain franchisee-franchisor relationships? Well, uh, what we've always done since I've been here is uh, we survey our franchisees. Uh, we use franchise business reviews. So at the end of every single year, we go to our franchisees. We have our third party uh, talk to uh, the franchisees about corporate about the business model and about the staff and what support that they get. We then gather all of that data and we bring it back in and we look through it and it's done privately so that we don't know who they are that are giving the responses to this, but they give great input and those things that they want to see added to either the business model, whether it's uh, technical training, financial uh, understandings of P&Ls, or additional marketing strategy or operation strategies. We incorporate those to the items that make sense to the business model and are easily adaptable. We also do that and apply that to our staff here inside the office to see how they feel about the management team and how the business model is going for them and what we need to provide to them. So we then take all of that information and we incorporate it into the new direction for say 2025, 2026, and 2027. So it's a slow process, but we get it incorporated into the business model and we get it incorporated into the corporate level. And uh, so everybody feels part of the team. They all have input into that business. Mm -hmm. And what would you say is your um, biggest differentiator um, to franchisees? Well, to, to franchisees, uh, one, it'd have to be the 65 years that we've been in business, like I said earlier. Uh, we've adapted to market change uh, throughout those uh, 65 years to keep the business model relevant to consumers and to our franchisees and make it adaptable to market changes. That's number one. Number two, uh, we listen to uh, our franchisees, like we said, in that franchise business review program where we audit everybody. We add those in. If they want more training, we put more training. We do more training for our franchisees than most franchise other franchises out there. That's number one. Number two, we develop committees for both marketing, operations, and new product development itself. The uh, franchisees, are, uh, they volunteer for this. Uh, we bring them all together. We take their input in each one of those aspects of the business model and uh, we develop new direction for the company, new products and uh, new sales strategies, utilizing the information that the franchisees provide to the market. So that gives us uh, a little edge. The other thing for the consumers in the business model is, is that we are a one-stop business model, whereas most consumers, if they wanted window tinning, rust protection, spray on bed liner, or paint protection films, or ceramic coating, would typically have to go to three or four different locations, being without their car for four or five days. Here at ZBART, you can go one location, talk to one person, get a nationwide warranty. I think that's what separates us out from all of the individual product franchises that are out there. And is there a common question that franchisees often ask? And what would your answer be to that? There is a common question. They all ask the same thing. I don't care who they're going to go shopping from. And that's just how much money can I make? And uh, that's hard to say. Uh, my best answer to those individuals is that, like anything in life, you're only going to get out of it what you put into it. So if you want an easy way to uh, get into a business and follow a strategy, 
uh, all franchisees and franchisors have that ability in the United States or around the world, actually. Uh, but if you can follow a plan and a proven one, and you're willing to work the business model and treat the staff properly, you can be successful. That's what I pretty much tell them. And do you have any final thoughts to share with us, Mike? Our, our business model itself is, a, uh, is, is really unique because it is truly adaptable to all different environments. We are throughout the Pacific Rim. We are throughout the Middle East. Um, we are in the rust belts. We are in the southern belts of the United States. We're in the Latin American markets. We're throughout the Caribbean, which proves that the business model is adaptable to market environments wherever you choose to open up a business itself. So we don't require our franchisees to use every single product. We require them to use the products that are pretty much on the consumer's mind within the specific market, um, whether it's whether it's in the Caribbean or whether it's in Canada. Uh, we have the model that is adaptable to each of those environments. And that's pretty significant when uh, you look at franchisors in the industry that say, this is a latte and that latte is going to be the same thing it is in Arizona as it is in Vancouver as it is in New Brunswick, when in reality it's not, mm -hmm. right? They, the consumer requires uh, different flavors, different tastes, and different aspects, just as they do with their automobiles. New York City is BMWs, Mercedes, that type of vehicle, Toyotas, Hondas, where when you go to Texas, the vehicles are all Suburbans, yeah, uh, trucks, that type of vehicle, and Jeeps. They, they, they are a different way of thinking. So that business model needs to be adaptive to that environment, and that's what we do best. Go to zbart.com, fill out the application form, get a hold of me right away, and book your appointment with me, and I'd be happy to guide you through the process of ownership and your future. Thank you, Mike, and thank you to all the viewers for watching, and stay tuned for the next episode of the Franchise Investment Show.